Hi everyone, I'm Sharon, and today for story time, I'm going to be reading The Thing Lou Couldn't Do, and this is by author Ashley Spires. This is Lou. Lou and her friends are brave adventurers. They run faster than airplanes. They build mighty fortresses. They rescue wild animals. Lou is pretty sure she's going to be a deep sea diver when she grows up, or a race car driver, or maybe a pirate. Let's play pirates. Yeah, we just need a ship. Up there, that tree can be our ship. Um, this is new. Lou has never climbed a tree before. It will be an adventure, say her friends. Lou loves adventures, but this adventure is up. Lou likes her adventures to be down. Lou suggests a not up a tree game, but her friends have made up their minds. Come on, Lou, last one up has to walk the plank. She'll be there in a minute. She just needs to change her shoes first. In Captain Lou Skullbuckle's opinion, the couch makes a fantastic pirate ship. But Mom disagrees. It's a beautiful day. Go outside and play with your friends. Fine, but her first mate is coming too. Accompanied by her cat, Lou goes back to the tree. Ahoy! Land ho! Arr, mateys! They're still up there. Come up, ye landlubber! Lou tells them that her arm is sore. And anyway, the cat needs a walk. Also, she read once that you shouldn't climb so soon after eating. There are so many reasons not to try. I stepped on a slug this morning. His funeral is in five minutes. I just found out that I'm part fish and need water to survive. So if you'll excuse me, I'll be in the bathtub for the rest of my life. That asteroid is headed right for us. Run! My tummy hurts. I need to sit down. I can't climb the tree. We'll show you how, say Lou's friends. She wishes her friends would just leave her alone. She is fine down here. Besides, she doesn't even want to climb. What's so great about climbing trees anyway? I can see all the way to the North Pole from here. The treasure is that way. Arr. Oh, that does look pretty great. If only Lou could climb trees. Meow. Show off. Maybe she can get up there without climbing. There must be lots of other ways to get up a tree. Trampoline, pole vault, helicopter. Sadly, Helicopters are hard to come by. We're under attack! All hands on deck! It's a call for help. Shiver me timbers! Those scallywags need a captain! It's time for Captain Lou Skullbuckle to climb aboard. This pirate captain has faced some pretty scary things. Sea monsters, hurricanes, even a super bad brain freeze. And now, Captain Lou Skullbuckle is going to do the scariest thing of all. She is going to climb this tree. She must be nearly there. Huh. Thud. She knew it. She can't climb. Are you okay? Not yet, anyway. 
She'll be back, maybe even tomorrow. Last one to the castle has to swim the moat. After all, Lou loves an adventure. The end. Awesome. This is a book that I chose today because it talks about trying things that we aren't necessarily sure we can do right away. Uh, when I first started at camp and I was really little, on my first ever year at overnight at seven years old, they asked me if I wanted to do the high ropes course and I didn't want to even a little bit. I'd never been up that high before and I didn't really feel like I liked heights anyway and it seemed like a really hard thing to do. And all of my cabin mates did do it and they had a lot of fun and I still chose not to that year, but when I went back to camp again, I thought that maybe I could give it a go. And it was really hard. I wasn't good at high ropes right away. I was pretty afraid of heights. It was tiring and not my favorite activity I did that week. Um, but I kept trying it because I knew that it was something that if I worked hard at, I would probably enjoy. And now high ropes is one of my absolute favorite camp activities. And I get to climb up and set things up sometimes and see all sorts of other people having a great time at the high ropes courts. So I really related to Lou in this book because she had a climbing challenge much like I did. Uh, but sometimes our challenges aren't only climbing related. There are lots of little things in our lives we're not sure about and trying can be hard. And even more than that, when we try, we work up all that courage to do something new and we're still not good at it right away. It can be really, really discouraging and make us feel like we shouldn't try after all. Uh, but as Lou shows us, sometimes we need practice and with help and encouragement, we can make really cool things happen and we can discover activities or skills or talents that we never would have known we'd had otherwise. So my question for you is what is something that you had to work hard at to be good? And tell us in the comments what it is and we will look forward to hearing about some of the amazing challenges that you've conquered. Thanks.